Making your own paint is a super relaxing process and here's how you do it. Add your pigment to a glass surface and make a well in the middle. Add gum arabic, distilled water, a drop of glycerin and some honey. The honey will keep the paint a smooth and buttery consistency. Use a palette knife to blend the ingredients together. It will take a little while to combine. Try to scoop the ingredients into the middle as you do it so it doesn't spread too far. As you combine it, it will already start to resemble a bright and beautiful paint. You can even get creative and mix your own colours together to make bespoke paints. Now we'll use a glass muller to fully combine the ingredients and make it nice and smooth. The muller will grind the remaining pigment into the paint and reduces lumps and bumps. It is also important for making the paint rich and even. Once done, use a scraper to pull the paints into a pile. This will make it easier for you to pick up the paint and put it into a little container. You'll need to leave your container of paint to set for a few days and then once it's done, you can pop it in your art tray and you're ready to paint. Now you can add a little bit of water and start creating beautiful art. To make DIY crayons, get some canoba wax and melt it. Then add some colour pigment and give it a good stir. Use any ice cube mould you like, I went for a classic crayon shape, and pour it in. It will set really fast, and not always to a smooth consistency. This is the joy of handmade items. What is that? Make lots of colours so you have a good variety of crayons. Just make sure you've made enough of each colour. Yeah. Pop them out when they're set, and you can get using them. They also make a really fun sound. The colours are really vibrant and nice to use, and they make for an excellent gift as well. I'm going to show you how to create a paint palette with air drying clay. It makes for a lovely gift or something you can use for yourself. No kill needed. Roll out the air drying clay with a rolling pin. Use a bottle or a large pen if you don't have one, both will do fine. Roll it to at least 5mm thick and into a large disc shape. Carefully place a plate on top upside down, then cut around the edge with a knife or a palette. The edge of the plate makes for a fantastic surface to cut against without making any mistakes. Peel the plate from the clay and try to avoid leaving any marks in it as it will save you time when smoothing later. I want to create a moon shape, so I'm using a ramekin on the inside edge and cutting around this. Then I'll peel away the excess clay. You'll need divots in your palette for where you want to put your paint. I'm using the end of a rolling pin and gently applying pressure whilst I twist it. You can have as many divots as you want. I went with four. Smooth out the edges with your finger and a little bit of water and then leave your palette to dry for 48 hours. Then you can get glazing. I used a triple thick water-based glaze. Apply a thick coat or two to the palette I really enjoy this part, brushing on the thick gelatinous glaze is so satisfying. All of the clay needs to be sealed so it is waterproof, so don't forget to do the back. What's great about these palettes is you can make any shape or size that you want, and they always turn out really beautiful. Once it's dry, you can get painting. It works really well with watercolours and gouache especially.
and then when you need to wash it, just use a damp cloth to gently remove any remaining paint.